We're going to turn now to our next guest who is sharing her secrets to success in her first book. And it's called, you got to love this title, <laughs> We Should All Be Millionaires, A Woman's Guide to Earning More, Building Wealth, and Gaining Economic Power. And author, CEO of Hello7 and self-made millionaire, Rachel Rogers, joins us now to let us in on the tips to being a millionaire. Okay, can you tell us first, now, now the book you say three years. With this book, after reading it, you could become a millionaire in three years. But what are we talking about when we say being a millionaire? Is that having so much in the bank, having so many assets? What do we mean when we say you're a millionaire? Yes, that means having a net worth of a million dollars or more. And um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to talk to you about how to make that happen. The average net worth of a white family is 170,000 and the average net worth of a black family is only 17,000. So we have a wealth chasm when it comes to race. Same thing when it comes to the gender pay gap. Women of color make 54 cents on every dollar made by a white man. And so this book is meant to be a handbook for exactly how to build that net worth and have a net worth of a million dollars or more. Well, I think a lot of people are listening. This has been a really tough year for everyone, but especially women and women of color, as we have talked about over this past year. So uh, we all tend to try to do it all from juggling household chores to childcare to bringing home the bacon literally and figuratively what advice do you have for women to start out yes well first of all we have to start with boundaries you alluded to the fact that women still do the vast majority of the household work even breadwinning women so it's time for us to put boundaries in place and start delegating to our children to our partners to other people in our lives to apps like task rabbit We've got to get things off our plate. We got to get our time back. And then the other thing we need to look at is building our squad. 95% of our success or failure in any endeavor has to do with who are we talking to every day, all day. So who are you on group chat with, right? Who's, who's uh, on the phone with you? Who are you having conversations with on a daily basis? And so it's important that we build a squad of people who are ambitious, who are looking to build wealth and who are encouraging and uplifting where you know we can lift each other up. And then the last thing I would say is make million dollar decisions. That is the most important thing. We're not gonna become millionaires by making broke decisions every day, right? And so what that looks like is investing in yourself, taking risks. It's not about cutting lattes. It's gonna take more than that. It's about really betting on yourself and your own professional skills. Well, you say betting on yourself. A lot of folks are just risk averse. I mean, we've gone through so much and so much uncertainty. People get comfortable. They have a job, it's, it's working for them. And, I, I, I'm always curious to hear people, um, what advice you give to others in making that move. You went from being an attorney to starting your own company. That, that came with some level of risk. What, what do you tell folks? It's like, hey, th this is not for me. I need to, to be okay right now and make sure I can pay bills. Yes. Listen, I can totally relate to that. I grew up low income. I graduated uh, in the middle of the 2008 recession. And so there were not a lot of good jobs for me. I took a job, it was an okay salary. And then I decided, you know what? I'm gonna start my own practice. I'm gonna bet on myself and become an entrepreneur. And it was the best decision that I ever made. Hello7, my company is now a $10 million company, which I mean, still blows my mind. And I grew up, uh, my parents had were on food stamps, right? So. It's absolutely possible. And the thing that I would say to women out there, to everyone out there, marginalized folks, especially who want to build wealth, bet on yourself, bet on your own skill set. We all have imposter syndrome and vastly underestimate what we are capable of. We are capable of building amazing brands. We have amazing skill sets. We have great ideas. Bet on those ideas and take a risk and you will see huge rewards on the other side. Well, all right, Rachel Rogers, you heard it here, folks. The book is called We Should All Be Millionaires. And, and Robot, he was very complimentary of your book cover. She loves it. I love it. It's like, it's like dynasty. I just, you can just, you can feel the power popping off, the, off that picture. I love it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.